Sean Diddy Combs is reportedly struggling with the food options while in Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center after being denied bail following his trafficking arrest. His lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, revealed that the food is probably the roughest part of his life behind bars. Combs' meals include options like cereal, hamburgers, beef tacos, and vegetarian dishes such as lentils and tofu. After his arraignment, he was served Swedish meatballs with options like a black bean burger, egg noodles, green beans, and a garden salad. Sean Diddy Combs is set to make his first appearance before a trial judge regarding serious charges <laughs> This marks a significant moment in his ongoing legal battles as he faces multiple allegations from over 120 accusers, including minors. Diddy's legal team is working diligently to address these claims, which have drawn considerable media attention and public scrutiny. The case continues to unfold, revealing the complexities of the allegations against him. Putting today, Sean Diddy Combs is scheduled to appear in Manhattan Federal Court for a pretrial hearing on the music mogul's sex trafficking charges. The 54-year-old has pleaded not guilty and has remained behind bars since his arrest last month. In court documents filed yesterday, Combs' lawyers indicated they want the trial to start in April or May of next year. The defense also accused the Department of Homeland Security of leaking a 2016 video showing Combs attacking his then-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, in an effort to damage his reputation. Sean Diddy Combs is expected to return to court. The music mogul is facing federal charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. Combs has been in a New York City jail since last month when his request for bond was denied twice. ABC News legal contributor, trial attorney Brian Buckmeyer joins me now for more on this. Brian, what can we expect to happen in court? So Dan and Dan Core were expecting the parties with their new attorneys to be there to make the arguments not only that Sean Cohn should be released, arguing that the bail was denied inappropriately in the past, but also just a scheduling of the case. They're looking to move forward in this case by saying what evidence the, the defense is likely to receive, what, if any, motions should be filed in the coming days. It's basically an opportunity for both parties to kind of get the ball rolling towards an inevitable trial. Hey, boo, hey. Greetings and salutations. Breaking judge refuses to grant bail to Sean Diddy Combs. Orders him sent to jail while he awaits his sex trafficking trial. Oh, honey. It's about to be some shit now. You know they was banking on the fact that he was going to be able to get bail. Oh, no, 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 honey. That's not happening. Not today, not tomorrow. It ain't happening. This is just day one, y'all. We have got a long way to go, but he ain't getting out. <laughs> we got an update in the Diddy case. The lawyer representing 120 alleged victims of Diddy says that many of the big celebrities have agreed to pay victims to avoid being publicly named. Now, this comes as a disappointment. Previously, the lawyer stated that the there were over 120 alleged victims and they were going through uh filing the cases for the, the stories that sounded legit and that a lot of names were about to be released to the public that were involved with diddy and they were just waiting for um the suit to be filed now they're saying the suit uh will not be filed because many of the big celebrities have agreed to pay the victims off instead and i get like wanting some type of compensation out of this but i hate the fact that now this happened we didn't get the epstein list um and now we're it's looking like we're not going to get the diddy list either like bro we want to know who was involved in these if it was really that egregious and these people were doing sick demented shit don't take the money up front Take these, they, yo, it's a slippery slope because some people need just financial help and shit, bro. And I get that, bro. But fam, I want to see like who, like, come on, man. We can't be having niggas walking the earth because then the same shit going to happen. Nothing's going to change. Shit crazy, man. Make sure y'all follow my backup account. It's linked in my caption, linked in my bio, gang. Um, how y'all feel about this, man? This is disappointing news to say the least. I was looking forward to that list dropping.
day as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies to bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching uh, of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court, to finally share his side and to prove his innocence. I am not here to portray my son as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past, as we all have. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten violent with his ex-girlfriend. There we go. When the hotel surveillance showed otherwise, sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when that truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used the decisions against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. It is important to recognize that none of us, regardless of our statue, are immune to, to fear or mistakes. Not being entirely straightforward about one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what this society considers to be a good person. History has showed us how individuals can wrongfully convicted uh, due to their past actions or mistakes. Watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. It is truthfully, it is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side. These lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking a financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit so they believed they can receive a quick payday for falsely accusing my son. Your son's lawsuit with his ex is because he was dead fucking wrong of what he did. Sorry, all right? Your son, what he did to Cassie is disgusting. That is why they settled. That is why he didn't have a pot to piss in. I'm so sorry, girl. But after what he did to Cassie, I'm not going to feel bad for nobody. Um, anywho, um, this injustice has been unbearable uh, to make matters. Okay, sorry, girl. Um, fall, believe it quickly. False allegations of SA, um, thought true victims of sex of SV from getting the justice they deserve. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for the family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. I ask his supporters, fans, colleagues, friends, and the public to not judge him before you've had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about those who have been wrongfully persecuted, to remember that not everyone who has made mistakes in life deserves to have their entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves a chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. Respectfully submitted on the behalf of Janice Smalls Combs and the Combs family. So what do you guys think, best friend? Let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think about this? I, I I said what I said about Cassie. After what I saw with Cassie, I just don't necessarily really believe this man. But, you know, he will have his day in court. And I'm sure as a mother, it's it's devastating to see. But, you know, we honestly, he was denying profusely about what happened with Cassie, calling her, you know, saying, 
all these things that, you know, it was put out there that these are lies and this and that. And it turned out to be very true. So I just don't know what to believe uh, from this man. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that follow for more updates and um, we'll see what happens.